Hey guys, my name is Fire, and today I've got some more Call of Duty World War 2. Now, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about the semi autos. There's only three semi automatic weapons in this game, and generally they are quite weak. I would say three or two out of the three are pretty shit, and I would say the M1 Grand would definitely be the best out of the three. Now, when it comes to if you should really be using the weapons, it really just comes down to your playstyle and if you really like them. Now, I would recommend to use the semi automatic rifles, and uh, generally because they do help improve your aim, improve your playstyle, they can help with a lot of different things because if you're going from using a full auto rifle to a semi-automatic rifle, it's a lot more challenging because you have to hit every single shot a lot more precisely. If you miss a shot, it's a lot more of a bigger deal compared to missing a shot with a weapon that has a fire rate of say like 900 RPM. So yeah, personally I really like semi-automatic weapons and I always have in Call of Duty. Uh, with this game, I'm kind of disappointed with them though. As I said, there's only three of them and for a World War II game, you'd expect to see a lot more semi-autos and a lot more from them. You'd expect them to be powerful and good and especially considering that World War II had a lot of semi-automatic rifles, don't get me wrong, they definitely had a lot of full auto rifles at the same time and it kind of just feels like there's more full auto rifles uh, aimed towards this game than there is semi-automatics and I think that's really really a missed opportunity for a World War 2 game. As I said, I love semi-automatics and I understand a lot of people don't and I think for the newer fan base and newer player base of Call of Duty, this is why they didn't really go all out with the semi-automatics because realistically with a World War 2 game, you'd expect to see semi-automatics all over the place, M1 Grands, all this other stuff firing all about the place because it is a World War 2 game and they didn't have as much uh, fallout of rifles in this time era. They did have some and they did have actually quite a lot, I'm not saying that they didn't have any, uh, the STG-44 being one of the most iconic ones, uh, but they definitely had a lot more semi-autos and it kind of just feels lackluster that they they only have three, and the three that we have are pretty shit. As I said, the M1 Grand is probably the best out of the three, but the M1 Grand is good, it can definitely two-shot and can be pretty powerful. but. I don't know, there's still something about it that I don't like. It's hard to use, the semi-automatics are generally always harder weapons to use, and I think the M1 Grand's in an okay place, but the other two are kind of in a funky place right now. I really think the M1A1 uh, could maybe do with maybe a little bit of like a range buff, something like that, I don't know how you could really improve that weapon. I think it's fine, maybe even a bit of a fire rate buff, and the, F or the SVT definitely needs a massive buff, it needs a fire rate buff, it needs a recoil, a bit of a recoil reduction, maybe even a bit of a range buff, otherwise the M1 Grand and the SVT can two shot consistently across the map. They've got great damage profiles and they can absolutely dump truck on people if you are accurate with them. But it all comes down to the accuracy. With semi-autos it all comes down to how accurate you actually are with the weapon and if you're accurate with it and you can hit your shots, these things destroy people and they're some of the best weapons to use in the game and that's why it says use them and try them out because they really can improve your accuracy, improve how you play the game because you have to be a lot more strategic and kind of just be smart about it. You can't just rush in with like an SMG or something like you would with an SMG. You have to be a lot more smart about it uh, because as I said, you have to be accurate, you have to be consistent, you have to be a good bit of range aware from these things because if you run into someone with an SMG or a shotgun or even an R full auto rifle at close range, you're absolutely done for and there's no way you're getting out of that alive unless the other guy just has no thumbs, has to reload. Of course, there's different situations where you will be able to kill him and outbeat him, but most of the time, generally, that person has a lot higher chance of winning. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy, and yeah, I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.